hi hello welcome welcome beautiful people uh thanks for visiting my channel today i am still working on my december daily i am going to get it finished i've done a little bit of of um prep work to get some of these pages done uh i am working at the opposite end of my desk because we had a little mishap with the internet uh, so I'm kind of seated, seated a little bit funny. I've got a bit of a different setup. I haven't got a light, so it may be a little bit dark because my window's further away. Anyway, let's get into it. I wanted to do a little sort of um, Christmas Eve title page. So I pulled together some things. I am going to have to get up and down. I'll just edit all of that out if I can uh, to make it quicker. But I am, yeah, away from my stuff so I'm just going to go and get the ink <laughs> okay I thought I'd turn the camera on while I work away on this and see how much of I will put up on my channel I am behind on just about all of the things that I wanted to do this January or you know starting this year and I'm trying not to let that bug me <laughs> I've done quite a lot of organization and i'll show you right now what i've done in those little problem areas that i talked about when i was doing my little room my little room tour so what i'll do is i i'll show you those so like i said this was one of the little problem areas this little corner and i don't know if you remember there was a few things piled up here now i still have this to sort out which is kind of a lot of um, embroidered linens look at that just dumped in there and they need sorting so yep that's still to do this is my laces here now and whoops the sun is shining in through the window there and i think they look a lot better they're still they're not color coordinated or anything at this stage and i think eventually yes that's something that i will do or have all sari silks uh and all lace and all other ribbons and things like that but at this stage they're on cards and i'm totally thrilled with that so yeah so that's a little update on that little trouble spot <laughs> right back to the december daily so yesterday I spent the majority of the day making ribbon and lace bobbin cards. Now I have got a video up already, I think, of me making those and I can link that now. And that was based on something that Kylie from Paper Daisy Journals had done. And yeah, I made quite a few but nowhere near enough to to put all my laces and sari silk ribbons and things on and then I saw I've been watching Heather from Rose Hill Paper Cottage doing lots of organization and I had been already started tidying my room and the two areas that really were giving me bother were the ribbons and the laces they were just in a state some of them were on the um, cards that I'd made but I needed more. So I gave her little system a go and I'll link her video below. And it was a lot easier. I have to say, I probably think I've used two glue sticks making them, <laughs> doing all the collaging. And um, I actually glued two file folders together because I wanted mine to be quite stiff. Um, and you'll see what I mean when I say that if you watch your video but also the the envelope punch board didn't really love cutting the notches but it did manage so i got quite a few more done which i'm really pleased about and i've made progress i've still got a container that's got sort of like a a mishmash of ribbons and laces in it and i'd like to make some more cards so I will be doing some more, but I'm getting there. So I'm really pleased with that. I think that's definitely progress. And uh, the other thing I did do was I chucked some, well, not chucked, but I am going to pass some of them on to, back to the op shop or to the op shop, the ones that I'd, I've looked at and I know I've had for a long time and I'm guessing I won't use. They're not, they're not vintage or hard to come by. So yeah, they're going 
so I had a bit of a cull as well which is always good yeah so I'm pretty happy about that and getting my room really much more organized and then what happened was we realized our internet wasn't working and of course the box that the person who came to fix it the chorus man uh not the internet provider but the whoever it is who actually gets it to your house he came and he had to get to the internet box which is down beside my desk and my desk is huge and heavy and it's got one of those kind of skirt things around it whatever you call modesty things so poor old david i went out to do some things and yeah while i was gone david had to <laughs> pull the desk out from the wall so the man could get to the uh the box and he fixed it which is great but again my beautiful tidy room was left in chaos and the other thing that happened was my tripod got broken in the process um just from the dragging and because it's sitting underneath my desk with a pole so that's a bit of a shame and that's why i've got this sort of different setup going on here now this stuff i'm using here and layering up is actually a 49 and market Christmas set and this is all like their sort of chipboard bits and I had them sitting there and I thought I'm going to use them and this is just like I thought this would make a nice little sort of title page for Christmas Eve so that's kind of how I want it oh these leaves have come off I think they go there Maybe we'll go like that. We'll glue those on. This is going to go there. And that's it. So now we just need to glue it together. I might use some tape as well. and ribbons just getting them in some kind of order but because I've been doing all that sorting out and I think that's where I was going with that <laughs> is I'm it means I haven't done a lot of of the things I really wanted to do uh, as far as uh, crafting projects like junk journal January and I'm just like thinking oh is there a way for me to catch up or do I just start on day you know whatever it is and just flag the rest of it or I'm terrible about starting things not at the beginning I really find it difficult if I haven't sort of started or been with it from the beginning but it hardly matters so I still haven't worked that out of my head and also I want to as um, I think I mentioned this in my last video I want to do the Margaret Miller challenges which I have purchased and downloaded and printed out so that is a start and then I also worked on making, altering a book into an art journal. So I glued all the pages together. So I haven't been doing nothing. I've been doing lots of exercise, which I'm pleased about. And generally just trying to sort of live and have a bit more health, be a bit more health conscious. I am enjoying the walks. I either do sort of like eight along the road which is along the coast or I do um, or I go up Tamata Peak which you've seen some pictures of if you follow me on Instagram I put put a, a sweaty photo up there <laughs> this morning while I was up there because I thought it's not pretty but it's real that's what I'm doing right now so that's been really good okay so these are little sort of 
cluster of leaves and foliage. Quite like how that looks. And it's Christmas Eve, so I thought I'd put all through the house there. Again, it's not, it's quite bulky, which I keep saying I'm going to stop doing, but obviously I'm not, so that's okay. And then decide whether we want to put this tab up here. I was actually thinking of typing Christmas Eve, but that's not going to fit in there, is it? Could cover up that one. I kind of like it there, so I'm going to put it there. Okay, so there we have a little title page, which is going to go here. These are the two pages I did um, off camera. So on the 22nd, that's the day after we arrived in, at our holiday place, we took a walk to Cathedral Cove, which is a very beautiful spot. You can only get there by boat or walking. And uh, that's where I've spent many um, of my childhood memories or childhood days there running through that hole in the rock and we've got photos I wish I knew where those photos were because that would be quite cool and then the next day the 23rd of December family started arriving we'd rented two houses on the same street just two doors apart and so one of my daughter or two of my daughters and their partners and my granddaughter arrived on the 23rd so that's that picture right and I'm just gonna pop this in here like that I've just bought this tape it's a little bit wider and I've bought it because I want to try making like faux washi so printing onto various things and then putting the tape on the back and then cutting I think that's what I think that's how they've been doing it I need to have a proper look at some of the videos so I bought some tape to give that a go because I thought oh that'd be quite cool matching washi tape to go with your projects. I'm going to take this right to the edge there. There we go. And stick it down. There we go. <laughs> yep, on a big angle, but that's just that's just part of it but I like how that looks I might yeah I might put Christmas Eve oh actually I've, I need a number don't I I haven't done a number so that's probably I'll add a number right and what did I have planned for photos I think oh I've got several I've got this one here This little layout here, which I've prepared earlier. And I've got two photos. There's that one of me on the beach at Hot Water Beach. And then this just this little selfie that I took of me on the beach. The great thing about Christmas this year was we were at the beach and the weather was amazing. And often the weather at Christmas, even though it's summer here in New Zealand, ask anyone and, and they'll say, oh, often the weather's not not that great and the forecast when we were leaving to go on holiday I was like David oh we're leaving beautiful hot days and we're going to like somewhere where the temperatures aren't that nice and it's going to be drizzling and but then I just thought well we're gonna it doesn't it doesn't really matter when you're with family we'll just do puzzles and play games and whatever it takes to it won't matter but as it happened the weather was just amazing it was so beautiful i just felt so lucky that the year we decided to go to the beach at christmas time because normally we would take our holiday much later in the summer when the weather's more settled right so i'm using the rest of that embossed paper i'm this is from Heather from Rose Hall Paper. And then a little bit of that check there, which kind of carries over. And then this is some of the 49er Market Paper with that lovely, those lovely stars. And then some of this beautiful blue. And then I just have to decide which photo I want. But then I was thinking, maybe, I think... I wonder if that's off there. Oh well, it's off here now. <laughs> I was wondering whether, I think I'm going to use this one. 
then maybe I could put this onto like a tag or something and it could maybe tuck in there have it make that into a pocket so I might try and remember to do that so that's that one and get that one glued down I just wanted to take a moment to say hi to everybody and thank you for for watching and subscribing and and see how you all are I hope everybody's well and also I'd like to say thank you and yeah special thank you to those who commented on my last video and uh, Elaine Elaine who <laughs> said she enjoyed my problem areas which now are less than a pro less of a problem area as you can see Louise who's a new subscriber thanks for subscribing Louise and great to have another Kiwi Liz from Buttons for Brains thanks for watching Liz also Joan and Pauline and hi to Lily and Lynn thanks so much for your comments and for watching my videos and for your support I super really super super duper <laughs> really super duper appreciate it right, so I'm going to just use tape on this photo I ran out of glossy photo paper so I've just printed these photos onto a matte sort of a coated matte premium presentation paper and epsom paper and i quite like how the quality of it it's it's good i don't i don't know what the longevity is okay so it's not an amazing photo of me but we always think that don't we i guess when i'm 70 and i look back i'm gonna think i was pretty hot <laughs> probably not but you know at least i'll think i look a lot better than what i do when i'm 70 so may as well take the photos now i don't know how long i'm gonna last because it's super super duper hot in here and i'm really really feeling it so i'm gonna do this layout this little page and then i might go and see if i can cool off i'd love to jump in the ocean actually but we were due a cyclone which hasn't really eventuated anything but also with tonga having that big sort of earthquake and volcanic eruption under the sea that has affected our oceans and there has been a warning to stay away from the beaches and our beach is quite well you see if you've watched my channel and my Instagram, you'll see that our beach is quite wild anyway. So I don't think a swim is probably a wise idea today as much as I would like to. This has got like some fake stitching along there, which is, <laughs> which is awesome. So I'm just going to pop there. I actually don't really want to cover up those stars. I can still see one peeking out underneath if I put it there. That's okay. So there we go, another very simple um, little spread. And I, again, I haven't got a number. I might have to look for numbers after this. I'm getting quite excited that I'm getting to the end of this because it means I can, the last thing in my room to pack up really is my Christmas things. They're in a big container, but that container needs just a, a good sort out. I mean, honestly, there's things in there that I've had for so long and I'm wondering whether I should throw some of them away. But then I'm like, well, Christmas is Christmas, you know. If it's all in one place, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, I can't lift the back of this tape for some reason. We shall use the glue. Hopefully that will be okay. And there we have two more little spreads for... The daily december i kind of like these colors i like the how they're quite uh they're kind of summery which is is good for new zealand i think whoops that's not on very straight and then <laughs> oh my gosh okay i'm having a bit of a mare uh if you've stuck with me to the end i really appreciate it thank you so much i'd love it if you gave the video a thumbs up and you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye.